GTF. Kisa. What's good? Another day. Another video. GTF was good. GTF was good. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed. Cheers. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed, man. As you can see your boy at the gas station with it right now. I heard we fueling up. We about to hit the road, you understand me? We ain't hit the road in like two weeks. About to hit the road today, man. I ain't gonna lie. It's super windy out here, you understand me? Let me hear up and fill. Let me hear up and um, fill this car up and then I'll chat with y'all. GTF, I ain't gonna lie, boy, it's extremely windy out here, y'all. Most definitely windy out here, crazy windy out here, bro. I hope you all don't hear all this wind in the camera mic. But as you can see, man, fuel is expensive, you heard? Up in the 87, 369 a gallon. It's crazy. GTF! Fam, I ain't gonna cap with y'all. It is windy out there. It is windy out there. But yeah, man, we gearing up for a road trip. That's why you see me at the gas station filling up. Guess what? I got that boy ZB with me. ZB, what's good? <laughs> ZB, what's good? ZB, why you been? The people been asking for you, bruh. ZB said he been chilling, man. He been working. He been grinding. ZB, you crazy, dog. You scared? You... You been, you been on your best behavior or what? <laughs> Say, baby mama been tripping. Baby mama been tripping, man. I feel you, though, man. But what's good, though, man? What's good, GTF, man? Yeah, man, we back with your boy, ZB. ZB, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I called ZB, and he was ready to ride today. He ain't had to work today, so, so he'll take that trip with me. Um, So, you know what I'm saying? We're going to go about three hours up the road. I think we're going to Davenport, Florida. You heard? And see what kind of food they got up that way. Um, but I ain't gonna lie, it's extremely windy outside. Uh, I believe they said a tornado touched down in Florida last night sometime, yesterday sometime, or something like that. Yes, time. So it's very extremely windy. The weather looking bad over here too, as, as we speak down here. Now, see, I'm still over here. I'm in the um, for a lot of the area, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I was looking at the weather going up that way, you know, the central Florida area, and the weather's not that bad. At first, you know, I was kind of skeptical about taking this road trip because I didn't know if the weather was going to be bad throughout Florida. But it's not bad. It's just bad over here. So once we get up that way, everything will clear up. So I'm like, you know what? We're going to just go ahead and take this road trip. Yeah. But yeah, man, I was on YouTube Live um, um, this morning. And, uh, and uh, some of the people was on there. They heard me putting the address in the GPS. And the thing was like, Oh, you're going to get there by 1.05 p.m. And it was, it's like currently like 9 a.m. And they're like, wow, boy, you better than me. I don't see myself taking that trip just to go get some food, driving all them hours, you feel me? And I just wanted to say this, you feel me? Like when you believe in something, you feel me? You got to put the work in, you feel me? Because it's yours. You believe in it. Ain't nobody going to believe in it like you believe in it. So you got to put the work in. So if it's going to take me three hours, then that's what I'm going to have to do. You know what I mean? Like I said, I done drove 10 hours to Georgia before, you feel me? I believe in what I'm doing. I'm trying to take what I'm doing to the next level. So I got to do what it takes to get to the next level. You feel me? You got to put that work in. Don't you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Some people going to look at you like you crazy. You feel me? It's like some people probably looking at me like, man, this dude crazy. He going three hours just to go try some food. Man, hell no. Nah. He driving three hours. Not me. Not by myself. Hey, sometimes. Well, I'm not by myself right now because I'm with that boy ZB. Um, but, but sometimes, you feel me? You got to put that work in, dog. You, you, whatever you believe in, bro. Whatever you're trying to accomplish. It's all on you. Don't care what nobody think. It's all on you. you feel me? Some people gonna think don't some people gonna think you crazy. But you know what I'm saying? But then once you make it to the top, you feel me? When you make it to that next level, level, they're gonna be like, damn, it really worked. You feel me? That's how they gonna look at you then. So you feel me? I just say, I just I say all that to say, you feel me? You're gonna have to do what you gotta do, no matter what people think of how what you're doing or if it's crazy, whatever. Do what you gotta do. Don't worry about what nobody think. It only matters to you because at the end of the day, it's you and your dreams and your goals. Yeah. But yeah, fam, enough talking, man, because um, we got to get on this road, man, because um, we running behind. I had to stop at the gas station to fuel up. Yeah. So we about to focus on this road. Let go. Thank you. 
fam. We about an hour into this trip here. It's gonna take about three hours and a half to get there. We an hour in. Had to get off the highway real quick, man. Your boy gotta get something to drink, yar. Your boy throw parched right now, yar. All right, fam. Let's go in here and get this drink. Alright fam, we in here. Yeah. If you're a fan of the channel, you've been watching the channel, you already know what I'm looking for. Alright fam, let's cross our fingers hoping they got what we looking for. Oh snap! It's on deck, yeah. Canada dry ginger ale. Best ginger ale in the business, yeah. Alright fam, we got the drink, yeah. Like I said, man, Canada dry. Best ginger ale in the bitty. Some of y'all like to bet the differ. But facts are facts, you heard? Canada Dry, best ginger ale, you understand me? All right, fam. We back in business, you heard? Got the Canada Dry on deck. We about to hit that road. ZB, what you got? I already know. ZB got that Canada Dry, too. You feel me? Great minds think alike. But yeah, fam, we about to hop back on this road. Pulling up right now. I don't remember if I told y'all the name of the place earlier, but if I did it, the name of the place that we going to is called Auntie Price Soul Food in Davenport, Florida. Turn left. All right, friend. I said, all right, form. I'm tripping. All right, fam. Y'all can tell it's been a long ride. In 300 ride. feet, you'll arrive at Anti Pricey Soul Food. Been a long drive. Yeah, your boy ZB, he can't drive. Crazy, but it's all good, though. We here. That's what's most important. Okay, I see it over here. You've arrived at your destination. I see it over here to the right-hand side, Jerry. I don't know why the GPS said Anti Pricey. I mean, I pronounce it Aunt, um, Auntie Price, but it could be Aunt, Aunt Pricey. I don't know. Could be, y'all. Let's see what I'm going to pop here. What's up? You turn very quick. Hey, ZB, wake up, man. We here, fam. All right, fam. Let's go see what the soul food hitting for. See what they hitting for, famo.
I found. We got the grub, yeah. We got the grub, and I ain't gonna lie, it's smelling right. I found. We got the grub. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I'm so used to this new technology business. Like, I don't even like cars anymore that you gotta pull the keys out your pocket and put in ignition and all that. You feel me? Uh, yeah, right? You, you feel the same way too. See, even ZB said the same thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not with this whole new tech. I mean, I'm with the whole new tech. I'm with the old stuff with pulling the keys out your pocket. Unless I'm in my old school. You feel me? These days, like, pulling the keys out your pocket and all that. I don't know, fam. But yeah, fam. Just came from Auntie Price, yeah? I'm calling Auntie Price. The GPS said Auntie Pricey. I don't know. I'm calling Auntie Price. So food, I ain't gonna lie, it smells good, fam. That smell busting up out the bag. All right, fam. Time to set up Grub Tent Mobile Studios. Y'all already know. Just what stand with. Got my mask right here. Got my wife's on deck, y'all. So, fam. Um, hold on. Hey, ZB! ZB over here killing his food. ZB got fried chicken. He got fried chicken, yellow rice, and he got mashed potatoes and collard greens. ZB over there. ZB is good? <laughs> that boy ZB said that thing. But I'm gonna be the judge of that, you heard? Oh, yeah, as far as what I got. Damn, I got too much suds on here. As far as what I got, I got, uh, I wanted to do something different again for y'all. You feel me? Like I said, y'all know I'm always eating chicken wings and stuff for y'all. So that's why that last time when I went to the other restaurant, I went and got, uh, what I had got, the turkey wings. So I wanted to do something different again because I could have got fried chicken. But I wanted to do something different. So they had, uh, meatloaf on the menu. It's been a long time since I had meatloaf. You feel me? I do like meatloaf though, but that's been a long time since I had meatloaf. And you know, they said the meatloaf is pretty good here. So I'm like, you know what? I want to do something different for the GTF. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get the meatloaf. You feel me? So I got the meatloaf with yellow rice and two more sides. I got mac and cheese and I got green beans. I ain't going to lie. They let me taste the green beans. Them things. They let me sample them first. Them things. I ain't going to cap with y'all. Y'all. Alright, this is pretty good. Um, and I also got some um some of their cake. The cake, I ain't gonna lie. When I walked in there, the in the little cake case that they got, the first thing I saw was the purple cake. I'm like, purple cake? You feel me? It just stood out to me. I'm like, yo, what's up with this cake right here? And they're like, yeah, y'all feel me? It's good. I'm like, damn. You know what? I ain't gonna lie, that was smart on their behalf. Like that purple cake thing, it really just caught my attention. You feel me? So I got a piece of cake as well. Got a pour one for the GTF. Let's pop this thing open. All right, fam, that close-up action here. This is that homemade meatloaf. Comes with rice in two sides. I got the yellow rice option, as you can see down there. And I got mac and cheese and green beans. These green beans got turkey in them. Ooh, wait! You heard that looking right! Fam, what y'all say, man? Who out there like meatloaf? I ain't had meatloaf in a while. Like I said, I want to try something different for y'all. I ain't besides the norm of getting chicken. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. This meatloaf looking right. Fam. This play him? Oh, pie. Fam, I ain't gonna cap with you. ZB had the fried chicken special, the fried chicken meal. He killed the plate. ZB, I ain't gonna lie. You were hungry, huh? ZB killed the plate. Me, I had the, uh, I had the, uh, I ain't gonna lie, fam. I'm so full right now. I'm so full right now, I can't even talk, y'all. I can't even talk. But I had the meatloaf uh, meal, homemade meatloaf with the yellow rice, you feel me? Mac and cheese, green beans with the smothered turkey in there. Oh my God, the smothered turkeys, baby. Then I had some cornbread. See, for the short form video, sometimes the people from the short form video need to come over and check on the, check the long form video. Cause I got cornbread and I wasn't even, <clears throat> I got the hiccups, y'all. That's how food, that's how good the food was. I got the hiccups. I got the hiccups. Holla if you hear me. I got the hiccups. You heard? I got the cornbread. I didn't even get to try the cornbread for the short form video, but I'm pretty sure the cornbread tastes fine because everything on this plate tastes good. You heard? 
Uh, we gonna start off with the yellow rice for y'all. Y'all heard? Y'all see that? Yellow rice with the, uh, with the, uh, what they call it? With the meatloaf gravy on there. Y'all see that? Hit the beer. Mm. Man, shout out to Auntie Price, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm recruiting, I'm recruiting, I'm recruiting aunties right now, you heard? Auntie Price about to make the team, you heard? Y'all see that? What about them green beans? With the damn smothered turkeys on them. Hit that beer. Oh my God. Woo. This is too far. Green beans cooked to satisfaction. Very flavorful. And with that smothered turkey in there. Oh my. Masterpiece. Mm. Mm hmm. And we got this mac and cheese right here. Oh, see that mac and cheese? Hit that bit. Oh my God. I ain't gonna laugh, man. This play with $18.99 plus tax. It's worth it, though. It's worth it. This pack, this plate is full of flavor. Auntie Price throws down in the kitchen. See the meatloaf? Now, usually a lot of y'all will get on the videos, long form or short form, and talk about some. It look dry. It look dry. Ain't no way y'all gonna tell me this meatloaf look dry. Hit that bit. Mmm. I haven't had meatloaf in a long time. Boy, this was a perfect way to get back into eating meatloaf. This was the perfect meatloaf to get back into eating meatloaf. Now I want meatloaf. You feel me? I might have to have meatloaf. You feel me? At least a couple times a month, two, three times a month. Now I gotta bring meatloaf back to the diet. I ain't, I ain't even cap with you. Meatloaf is the bomb, you heard? Let me see what's up with this cornbread. And this cornbread is breaking up. Mm. That's how good it is. Look at this cornbread. Cornbread looking nice and moist, you heard? Y'all see that? Ooh. Hit that bit. Mmm. <laughs> oh my. Auntie Price, Auntie Price. Auntie Price, how I love thee, all right? Auntie Price, you don't play no games in the kitchen, you heard? Oh my God. Wow. This is some good cornbread, bro. Damn. Wow. Wow. When I say this is a good meal, shout out to Auntie Price. Auntie Price will see me again. I ain't gonna cap with you. Woo. Good boy stuff, man. I overdid it. I ain't even eat all the food now. I feel like I overdid it. And I still got a lot left. I still got one whole big piece of meatloaf. Got a nice portion of mac and cheese left. A good amount of uh, uh, green beans left. Wow. But yeah, fam, what I want to talk about today. Here's your chance to exit if you don't want to hear me talk about the TV show. You don't want me to ruin it for you. But we talking about Power Today, book two. Forget what the number is of the latest episode. But yeah, we talking about Power Book Two. Latest episode. Um, what happened? So, uh, I ain't gonna lie, Monet, we're gonna talk about it briefly, though, because I gotta take off. I, I gotta get back to the crib. You feel me? I'm three hours away from the crib, almost four hours away. But yeah, Monet, 
I ain't gonna lie, Monet's dangerous, bro. <sighs> Monet's dangerous. So Monet told, you know, Drew, her son, you know, he likes men, you feel me? So Drew was dating another dude, and the other dude is supposed to be a gangster too. And Drew is supposed to be, you know, from a gangster family, what have you. So Drew was dating that the other du dude, and um, the other dude is the same person who Monet basically got to kill um, her husband, Mr. Tejada. What his name is again? I keep forgetting the man's name. Let's call him Mr. Tejada. Monet got this dude who's dating Drew to kill Mr. Tejada because she, Monet told the dude that's dating her, her son, that Drew, that yo, Mr. Tejada is the one that killed your father. So he slit Mr. Th he slit Mr. Tejada's throat. He already killed him. So, but anyway, Monet wants this guy who's Drew seeing to stop seeing Drew. You feel me? But he basically refused. Like, I'm not going to stop seeing him. And you feel me? And basically, he kind of like, I don't want to say, not threatening her, but what's the word I'm looking for? He basically told her, like, if you mess with me, I'm going to tell you, you know what I'm saying? Drew is going to find out that you were the one that got me to kill his father, whatever the case may be. I forget the word I'm looking for. But, yeah. So, what she did was, it was another, there was another dude that she wanted to go see. You know about like a partnership but she was really a captain you feel me so she went and she killed that dude well really kane killed him because she was getting whooped by the dude and like, she went over there basically with, with the agenda of killing dude anyway so she went with kane whatever and drew was there too she told drew to wait out front whatever the case may be you feel me so now her and kane on the inside so now she talking to the dude so now she tried to stab the dude or whatever dude overpowered her kane came and shot dude in the head so now when they tell Kane to go do something, so while Kane is going to go do something, she takes the dude who she, who she killed, who Kane shot from, and texts the, uh, she basically is planting, planting stuff, you feel me, planting evidence, whatever you want to call it. So she takes the dude's phone that she that they killed, and she texts the guy who Drew is dating, saying, yo, you know, I forgot what exactly she texted him, but basically texting him, making it seem like, you know, that they had something to do with uh, Mr. Tahada's death. So... So that all that transpired, what have you. So now, you feel me? So now, um, so now is there's another scene where Drew, after this all transpired, Drew and you know, and his boyfriend or his lover, whatever you want to call it, you know, they in the bed, whatever the case may be. So now, whatever, dude went and got the dude, he went to go take a shower while Drew was in the bed. And Drew heard the phone vibrate. And when he checked the dude's phone, while the dude was in the shower, he checked the phone, and he seen the same text that Monet sent to do what Monet was trying to make it seem like the other dude something but really Monet something you understand what I'm saying I don't know if y'all understand what I'm trying to say but basically Monet was planting the evidence so now Drew seen the text he's like oh snap so this dude got something to do with my father's death so Drew went in the shower and shot buddy and killed him you heard so now Kane came I guess Drew called Kane uh, and Monet whatever they came whatever and I guess they cleaned up the scenery whatever Drew all sad that he had to kill his lover, whatever the case may be, not knowing that his mom is behind the whole situation. I ain't gonna lie, it's getting crazy, bro. It's getting crazy. And then, oh, uh, another good one is uh, uh, what his name? Tariq found out that uh, that uh, that Sax is the mole. So I can't wait to see what's gonna happen next because now I know Tariq got to tell, he got to tell uh, Davis, the lawyer, he got to tell Davis that, yo, Sax is a mole working in your office. So now I know. You feel me? So now I don't know what's gonna happen, man. Hopefully they finally eliminate Sax. Cause I've been tired of Sax since the first power. You feel me? So hopefully Sax get eliminated. You feel me? Cause Sax is a weasel, bro. I don't trust that guy whatsoever. So anyway, yeah, Tariq found that out, and uh, you know, basically Tariq ain't messing with Effie no more. He done with her as of right now. So now your boy Kane trying to get in good with Effie. He don't pay Effie's tuition cause Effie broke right now. Cause Tariq done cut off from the from the from the from the drug business. You feel me? So Effie, she broke right now. She ain't got no paper, you heard? She broke out you. So now Kane don't want to pay her tuition. And she gonna tell Kane or F you, I didn't want you to pay it. But really deep down inside, she knows she needed the help with her broke ass, you heard? So Kane paid the tuition because Kane trying to get good with Effie, whatever the case may be. Um But yeah, pretty much that's about it that I got to say right now. There was a couple other things that happened on the show. Oh, Diana, uh Monet's daughter. 
uh, threatens the the guy she was dating, whatever. Oh, that dude, the guy who she was dating went on stage and embarrassed himself and thought she was gonna find it cute or whatever the case may be. But she didn't like it or whatever, you feel me? So she put, she, he put her on the spot. You feel me? He went on some stage trying to recite, recite some poetry. Man, get your, get your ass out of here, bro. He tried, she didn't really like that, you feel me? And he got mad, whatever. He tried to talk that smack, whatever, whatever the case may be, whatever she threatened him. Like, yo, I will reveal your past or whatever the case may be because uh, uh, allegedly this dude is, really faking the funk out here like he lying like this whole he's really a whole different person from how he make himself seem you understand what i'm saying he really a trust fund baby or something to that effect or whatever the case may be yeah so now she said uh you're gonna give uh you're gonna reduce your hours from work and give the other people who need some hours at work or what have you and stuff like that or as i'm telling so now basically he got to do what she said you understand me but yeah fam I gotta go ahead on and get down the road. Time is winding down, yeah. But yeah, most definitely check out Auntie Price in Davenport, Florida, yeah. The plate was full of flavor, yeah. GTF for life.